Welcome to the K-12 online conference for 2017. This is the Creativity Strand, presented by international educators around the globe. I'm very excited to be bringing them, their classrooms, and their students to you in this video. We will start by looking at each teacher along the journey in how they use creativity in their classrooms. Um, I got interested in thinking about using Minecraft because some of the students are really into that game and they know a lot about it. To create something using another form of expression. Minecraft, you have to like test things out and then experiment with different notes and see what, what works well together. The timing for the for each block to play is controlled by repeaters. Like sound fluent and not really weird. A lot of the students coming from the elementary school has um, experience in using Makey Makey and GarageBand to create their own original work. And um, so even though our class is an instrumental ensemble class, we want to continue this um, tradition of creating music. It'll be about two minutes long, using at least five different types of tracks, of sounds. What we're doing is an intro and then A, A, B, A, and then outro. So the A's should be like, the A section should sound like the lake, but the sound should have a little bit different tone. The B should contrast all of them. In Minecraft, we talk about just choosing sound rather than choosing the track or the instruments. You go plug on, and then there's like so many different notes. So you have to find like which notes work well with each other. It matters what the block is that will make the note what you want it to sound like so you maybe use dirt plus the note block is like the main melody and the others are kind of like an add-on beat to it. The students when I've been observing them get really into like trying different sounds and trying to create something that's special it might seem like it's like it was really short and it was like it took about time really flies. For me as an educator, it actually has been quite an unexpected uh, turn of events because not only are they thinking of it as a project that they do at school. Sometimes when I get bored, I just go back in and I maybe find some flaws or anything to see if they could be better. But now they're thinking about, oh, I might go back and maybe I'll try something else or I'll improve on, on the piece that I've done for the class, which is what we really want the kids to do. And it's an excuse to play with. Each step in this journey will give us a new insight from a different educator around the world. Here we have Alison, Director of Music at the International Grammar School of Sydney, Australia. Thank you. 
Hi, I'm Alison Armstrong and I'm here at Vientiane International School in Laos, where I teach music to students completing the International Baccalaureate Diploma. I've been teaching here for three years and during that time I have used the Digital Audio Workspace or DAW Ableton to familiarise my students with new ways to compose, mix, arrange, whatever you want to call it. I'd like to share with you two projects that use Ableton and Ableton Push. One of the projects uses MIDI and the other uses audio. Both use the session view screen to look at composition as chunks of ideas. My 15 year old students begin by writing a theme using MIDI in GarageBand. The rules I set are that it must be in A minor and only use whole half or quarter notes. It's a little difficult shifting the MIDI from GarageBand into Ableton, but not impossible. They also learn about compositional devices such as sequence, imitation, augmentation, diminution, inversion, um, contrasting using staccato and legato, octaves, tempo and dynamics. In the next stage of the project, they meet with a theatre student in the middle of acting or directing a scene by Shakespeare. They take notes about the kinds of music that the director or actor is looking for, and they pay attention to the intended audience, the purpose of the scene and the music within it, the atmosphere of the scene, the main characters and their movement, and how they need to fit their music around the dialogue. After modifying their theme and adding an accompaniment pattern or drone, the students send me their MIDI files and I import them into Ableton. They sit with me to ensure that the sounds I choose line up with what they have in their heads. Some students from around Southeast Asia were visiting the school and I knew we were going to have three days to learn some choral music. The creation of new music is important to me, so I decided to create something from scratch for the event. My 12-year-old students had recently shared with me a list of songs that they love and one seemed perfect to arrange and that was DJ Antoine's Thank You. I was running out of time to put it together so I simply listened to the song with my headphones on and improvised harmony um, to flesh out the song. I felt pretty pleased with myself at the end of it. So I then combined the harmonies together in Ableton and I started to notate them. And then I thought, what are you doing? It's going to be much easier if you literally just hit play in Ableton and teach the kids the song that way. So that's what we did. Thank you for the journey. Thank you for the learning. Thank you for the pain of yesterday. Our next video comes from Norway, presented by Elda, who is a fellow Apple Distinguished Educator. His students have created an amazing soundscape, sound-to-picture installation.
Jane Marie Talese is a fellow Australian educator. In this video, she asks students to question what is music. Music teacher Andrew Mifswood, also from Australia, has just received his Apple Distinguished Educator this year. With his students, he is presenting on film music. <laughs> This year, our year 8 students are studying film music and to demonstrate their understanding of the topic, we've asked them to create a film trailer. We try to create learning experiences that are real and authentic. We also find that it helps if the students enjoy what they're doing. So what you're going to do is you're going to work in small groups of about three or four. You're going to come up with a genre, a, a style of, of movie. You're going to try to tell the story of that movie by creating a trailer that goes for about a minute long. So you need to work on your iPads and you're going to create a storyboard uh, that's got some of your key scenes that you're going to use for your trailer. We got the opportunity to be in a group of three and we all got to film and act, um, which was really fun and we made the audio for the movie trailers on our iPads. At the end of the term, we had a chance to show our film to the rest of the students and they also showed theirs, so we could compare all of our different movies and ideas. Trisha is a visual arts teacher from the US. Her classroom defines creativity. Welcome to Dryden Elementary School, located in a suburb of Chicago. I'm Trisha Fugelstad, and our program is infused with technology and creativity. We are a one-to-one -one iPad art room where students can make art physically, then explore concepts digitally. My students are animating and using green screen effects to build their techniques and skills so that they can creatively tell their stories. We're finding that this blend of physical and digital art 
is expanding students' curriculum and giving them a chance to dynamically demonstrate their understanding. Students have found creative ways to bridge the arts through the use of technology where they can infuse dance and music and voice. My name is Lauren Handenberg and they say I'm a real handful. I can't quite put my finger on it. Can you give me a hand? Oh yeah, I nailed it. I now get to introduce you to my wonderful colleague at Amadeus Vienna, Miss Lydia Campanale. Imagine a classroom where students are free to express their creativity, connecting music with movement, literature and art. A classroom where music lessons are never only about music itself, but about experiences that are linked to real life. where children discover what they can do. And decide who they want to be in the future. place where technology is able to turn classrooms into recording studios. Where technology helps them using their learning at different levels in different situations. It helps them reflecting. helps them practice and improve their skills. This is the classroom I dreamed of and now it is a reality. Throughout each of these videos you will have seen good pedagogy, the instruction of vital skills. This then leads to creativity. The lesson should not stop but keep going then. Students soon learn that if the teacher shares content, they do too and it promotes their own learning. One way to do this is with iBooks or iTunes U. I have some examples there at the QR codes. In my classroom, I aim to be engaging and diverse in content, but I always come back to what is good teaching with ORF or Kodai. Here's an example in South Korea. <laughs> Okay, I'm 
그냥 모두 들어간다고 그냥 미안해 그냥 저는 As a natural progression of these lessons, I want to share the learning of my students and of me as the teacher. So I put them into an iTunes U course that you can access now. This video will show you. To add a course to iTunes U, you need to go to the app. Then you tap on the plus button up in the top left hand corner and click enroll in a course. You then enter the enroll code and the course will be added to your library. I constantly want to encourage creativity in my classroom. One unit I teach is comparing the piano music of Eric Satie to the piano or electronic scores of the music in Minecraft. We compare Eric Satie's music and then we try and write our own. So let's find a recipe for creativity. One, start with an idea or lesson and build from these. Two, add that little bit extra that you think might be a bit out of your comfort zone. Then with number three, this is where it becomes exciting. Before you know it, the students themselves bring their ideas to each lesson and it becomes something you can share, document and publish. Thank you K-12 Online and for all of these people for presenting and their amazing videos. I would like to extend a great big thank you from Armadeus here in Vienna and I hope you enjoyed this video.